How's it going guys? Mike Cortez from Digital Empire Marketing and I want to talk to the real estate agents again. Today I want to talk about social media and there's a lot of platforms out there. There's Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. I mean there's so many uh, varieties of types of social medias out there and what I want to do is I want to help you kind of focus your attention on the right platforms because it's very easy to get lost and caught up in the chaos of all of it and trying to figure out which one you should focus on, at least for now, until you start making more money, growing your team, and then you can start expanding your, your presence and your awareness. But what I did is I, I gathered some statistics from uh, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, all the top uh, social medias at the moment, just to give you some insight real quick. So let's get started. First and foremost, Facebook. So Facebook is the one of the most dominant uh, social media is out there. One, because they own Instagram, they own WhatsApp. They have the largest database of information on all of us. So targeting wise, you can really focus on the right people. I'm a big fan of Facebook's ads, so I would you know keep that in mind. Um, but something to keep in mind here when it comes to the demographics, 51%, 13 to 17, that's probably not your demographic. I highly doubt it. So keep that one out. 76% of 18 to 24 year olds are present on Facebook. That's kind of a surprise to a lot of people because usually people think that um, everyone is on Instagram, everyone is on WhatsApp, on all these different platforms, but that's not always the case. So keep that in mind. Um, I know this is a very young demographic here, but keep in mind that as time goes on, I mean, they're going to grow up and eventually they're going to be 25 to 30. They're going to get married. They're going to start thinking about buying a home because they're building their careers. So you're gonna see how these numbers are very dominant in these ranges right here. So 18 to 64 are the most active uh, users on Facebook. Now it varies depending on the age, right? So the prime is going to be the millennials, which is probably your, for the most part, a lot of you are high, highly focused on millennials at the moment because you know we're growing up, we have uh, bills to pay. We're looking for a home to, you know, build with a family. Um, but it's pretty, they're all within the same range of, of percentages from 18 to 64, which is a very good sign for you. Um, and then a lot of times people are really surprised by this one right here. Usually I get a lot of customers, um, kind of t telling me my demographic isn't on Facebook and that's always, you know, I always ask them what makes you think that? And it's like, well, cause they're older. They don't have, uh, they don't really care about social media. They didn't grow up with it, so they could care less. So I bring up the metrics and I show them on Facebook's platform and they don't realize, oh wow, there's 50 to 64, there's that many people active on Facebook, 65 plus, there's what? And, and it's just something that the data will always brings out the truth in. So keep that in mind. Don't, don't let the, the bias of, let's just say your, your three foot world within your network um, make you think otherwise about who's using social media. Uh, number two, Instagram. So Instagram um, tends to be a younger demographic, but keep in mind, again, millennials, and I guess that's, I don't know, somewhere between Gen Z and millennials, I'm not sure, 18 to 24, um, those are going to be the most active. Now, as you go down the list, you know, 30 plus, that number slowly goes down, but keep in mind, the millennials are going to be very active on Instagram. So keep them in mind for long-term growth on Instagram. Um, these demographics aren't as active, but I mean, you could still focus very heavily on 30 to 4, uh, 49, which is a perfect demographic for you. And it kind of dwindles off from there. And that this really isn't a surprise as far as these demographics not being very active. It's just uh, a newer platform. It's still very fresh. Uh, Facebook has been around for, I don't know, something like 12, 15 years now. So it's built a, a mainstream following. That's why you're gonna see an older demographic. Next is YouTube. This is the one that probably changes a lot of people's mentality about where their focus should be. So with YouTube, you're looking at 90% of 18 to 24 year olds are using it, 93% of 25 to 30, 87%, 70%, 38%. These are all really big numbers here. I mean, huge numbers. And the reason for that mostly is because YouTube is technically the second biggest search engine in the world owned by Google, Google being number one. So wouldn't it be smart to be focusing a lot of attention on this platform right here? I mean, there's so like the masses are all on this platform. It's kind of like 
back in the day with, uh, let's just say before social media, before cell phones, everyone wanted to be on TV because that's where all the eyeballs were. That's where all the attention was. So you wanna be where the attention is. And these demographics just aren't as active on TV as they used to be. So why are you putting money into traditional formats when this is the new platform? That's the new broadcast network. So keep in mind when it comes to YouTube, it is a global um, social media. So when it comes to that, you need to focus highly on targeted ads so that you can target just your location and focusing on specific demographics, maybe people that are purchasing a home, whatever purchase behaviors they have going on. But that's the best way for you to target people on a local basis. If you're a real estate agent, chances are you're focused on local. So keep that in mind, but YouTube is a huge, huge, huge platform. Next one, Twitter. Twitter uh, has much, a much lower rate across the board, but I still wanted to put it out there just to kind of give you a little bit of a wake up. Um, I don't focus my marketing too much on Twitter. I see it as more of a news outlet, a place, basically a place to get information on what's happening you know, immediately. It's a very disposable type of content. Like I don't remember a tweet that I saw a day ago, let alone five hours ago, right? So Twitter is a decent platform, but maybe it's not the best choice for you because all the demographics are very low um, as far as their, their presence goes or just activity. So, you know, just something to, to keep in mind there. Uh, the next one is Snapchat. So Snapchat is a tough one, right? Because Snapchat is very personal. It's meant to be you and me interacting type of thing. It's disposable content. Um, sure, you can do stories, you can do uh, all the highlights and stuff, but it's going to be much more heavier in the younger demographic. Um, keep in mind, they do grow up, so it might be something to keep in mind for the future. I don't know if it's the best choice right now, but if you do want to be everywhere at once, then you know Snapchat might be a place you want to be dominant in. It's just a little bit harder to reach the people you're trying to reach on Snapchat. Just keep that in mind. It's not as easy as YouTube's uh, platform, not as easy as Facebook's and Instagram's, because these are built around advertising. Snapchat is you know very big on promoted content, but not as uh, proficient as I would say these other platforms are. So that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to give you a good heads up. Um, I always get questions like this. If you do have more questions when it comes to social media, targeted ads, anything that has to do in the digital marketing space, you know, send us a message. Go to digitalempiremarketing.com, digitalempiremrkt.com. And from there, you can send us any requests, questions. You could sign up for our newsletter if you want to. I'm here to give you value, and I want you to be successful. So don't forget, subscribe, like. Do the notification uh, so you don't miss any of the videos coming out. We're going to be very consistent and I want to make sure you're getting as much value as possible for free. So 